Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again, and this time we're going to look at game number two in our 20 from 1984 series, and this is quite possibly the first really good arcade video game boxing game, and uh, there was nothing like it at the time, and this is the really awesome Punch-Out by Nintendo in 1984. Uh, probably released in Japan in 1983, but released in the U.S. in 1984. But, um, yeah, there was nothing like it at the time. Nothing even close. Has great, uh, graphics, uh, a great idea of having, uh, your guy being wireframed so that you can see through him and to the opponent. And you have a joystick. You can move up or down to put your guard up or down. And you press left or right to jot dodge left or right and uh, there are also uh, some buttons uh, a button to uh, punch left or right and uh, there is a button to do an upper cut or a hook when uh, you have a uh, KO meter flashing and you build that up by uh, connecting with your punches and uh, you have six opponents. There is Glass Joe, there is uh, Piston Hurricane, there's Bald Bull, Kid Quick, Pizza Pasta, and Mr. Sandman. And I have no idea what to do against Pizza Pasta. Sorry, that's as far as I got. Um, I was never great at this game. Uh, once you beat all six opponents, then you play them all over again. And they're much, much, much harder the second time. Um, this is a tough game to get used to. Um, when you move your guard down, you make body blows. And when you move your guard up, you do uh, uh, jabs to the face. And you see the KO meter flashing there. And he, uh, your guy tried to do a uh, an uppercut. It will not always connect. Sometimes the uh, opponent will dodge, but uh, oftentimes you can figure out a time when it will connect, and that's like after a string of punches that connect, then use the uh, uppercut. And this is Glass Joe, the first boxer. There were numerous games in this series, uh, including Mike Tyson's Punch-Out for the NES, and Punch-Out for the Wii, the Nintendo Wii. And we're going to go ahead and get started. You get to put in your initials before you start the game so that you have a name, which is kind of cool. And your guy is green. He might have been uh, infected by gamma radiation. <laughs> Glass Joe, the first time around at least, is easy. Um, he'll, you'll see his gloves go up and you uh, punch him in the body. And, uh, anytime you face an opponent, you watch for their eyes to turn yellow. Yeah, Glass Joe is easy enough. An opponent's eyes, when they turn yellow, that means they're about to throw a punch. And, yeah, Glass Joe is super easy. The quicker you take an opponent out, the more points you get. And now we face Piston Hurricane. He's a little tougher. But you can still kind of uh, alternate uh, body blows or throw punches. And you'll eventually uh, keep connecting. There. Yeah, he dodged that uppercut. Later on, it, you know, at one point, uh, Piston Hurricane will start doing little back off and do a little hop towards you. And that's when he's going to do a whole bunch of uh, body blows, and you have to uh, you have to either block them or uh, keep doing body blows back to uh, interrupt his uh, string. And now we play Bald Bull. And Bald Bull, he can actually not be too tough when he does that little wave with his with his hands. Then uh, you can do, I think, a body blow. And now he's going to do his little hop. And he's super easy to knock him down. And you just... You do a body blow 
right when he does hit when he lands from his second hop wail on the body blow button and you'll take him down and yeah uh, and here he goes second hop right as soon as he lands you do a body blow and uh, you'll knock him down if you fail there we go that was pretty awesome if you fail to uh, get three knockdowns or a, or a completely knock out an opponent before the time runs out you will lose that sucks <laughs> doesn't matter how far ahead you were. And this is Kid Quick, and true to his namesake, he is freaking fast. Uh, just, uh, he'll sometimes give you the opportunity to hit him in the face if you do a uh, body blow and he gets stunned. Then you want to switch to, uh, to punching him high. And there he just fell for a bunch of right hooks. Yeah, that was... Ooh, I was lucky to connect there. If you keep pelting him with with uh, uppercuts, you can send him down for good. Otherwise, uh, he'll keep getting up, and he can be tough to put away. Pizza Pasta, I have no idea what to frickin' do. He's... Uh, by this point, the uh, boxers are so darn fast. I have a, a tough time uh, not freaking out and... Uh, <laughs> Dodging at the wrong times and uh, getting right in the path of a punch. He's uh, a lot of the boxers have like a special move they'll do at a certain time in the match, and they'll uh, they'll back off and they'll come forward and they'll start doing uh, something. Ah, oh, and now he's. I should have held down and blocked these but he'll keep doing them over and over and over and over again ah <laughs> sorry I just I just kind of froze yeah pizza pasta is way too tough for me sorry I can't do a uh, very good walkthrough of this game I can manage to beat kid quick barely I think that was the first time I'd actually beaten kid quick but uh, pizza pasta, yeah, I'm, I'm, I can't beat him. The opponents get just way too fast at that point for me. But uh, yeah, you watch the the color of the eyes when they turn yellow on the opponent, then they're about to do an attack. And I'm just gonna uh, I put on cheats, and I'm gonna knock him down here, so we can see the final opponent, which is Mr. Sandman, and he's really freaking tough. I love the voice samples in this game. Terrific. <laughs> yeah, he's he's really freaking hard. I just I just froze. I could not uh I could not uh, uh dodge enough punches uh from the uh, opponents at this point. I yeah, I put on infinite uh, energy and uh Eventually, a uh, instant KO power. I think with one punch, you you uh, you knock him out or knock him down. But uh, a number of these boxers appeared in uh, later uh, Punch Out games, like uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. It has uh, Mr. Sandman and uh, Glass Joe and Bald Bull. There was an arcade sequel called Super Punch-Out, and yeah, there I made him a one-hit knockdown. Yeah, the second time around, the opponents are much harder. Even Glass Joe's much harder. Um, and their, uh, their gloves and your uh, boxer will be of different colors. And there's, uh... <laughs> and there's me uh, beating all six fighters, and then you've got to defend your title against all six fighters again. Yeah, Glass Joe is much quicker, much tougher this time around. See, I'm, uh, I'm now 
with red trunks and a yellow wireframe body. I I was I still had the cheat on, but now uh, Glass Joe gets up, and before he was uh, he was unable to get up if you give him a real good beating and knock him down. But yeah, see, he's much quicker. And yeah, if you run out of... We'll skip forward. If you run out of time and you didn't knock him down or knock him out, you lose. Time up. Well, that was Punch-Out! Game number two in our 20 from 1984 series. I thank you for watching. This was created by Nintendo. And uh, hope you join me soon for a game number one. And then I'll be entertaining requests. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.